My name is Rod Bergen and I want to take a moment to tell you about my involvement with the Believe the Sign website. My son Jeremy started the website in 2007. If you haven't seen Jeremy's video about the history of Believe the Sign, you should watch it. From day one, Believe the Sign was Jeremy's idea and he was responsible for the content of the website. He took six months off work and wrote 95% of what you read on the site. I was delighted to have a son who was so committed to doing something for the gospel that he was prepared to put his career on hold while he pursued the burden that God had given him. He had no one to help him with the technical aspects of the website, so I ended up looking after the software platform, server, and infrastructure. As Jeremy started researching some of the more troubling questions that were coming into the website, we discussed these issues in great detail. At the same time, I started to lose confidence in some of the ministers that I had previously held in high regard. Some were prepared to compromise on moral issues in their personal lives. Others were prepared to ignore clear biblical guidance where friendships were involved. This caused me a lot of distress. I finally came to the conclusion that there were a couple of possible causes of what I was seeing. Either the message was being interpreted by the ministry incorrectly or there were serious flaws in the message itself. After three years of Jeremy and I researching the Bible and the message, I was so troubled by what I was finding that at the end of June 2012, I retired from my job. My wife and I went away for several months to spend time seeking God and trying to find spiritual answers for the things that were troubling us. While we were away, Jeremy decided to publish his apology in his Humble Pie article. Some people have tried to say that I was the one behind the website and the one pushing Jeremy to change his views on Brother Branham. But nothing could be farther from the truth. Those that say these things don't know my son very well. However, I am in general agreement with the stand he has taken. And now that I have more time on my hands than he does, I expect you will see me in a few videos of my own. But the editorial content of the videos and the website in general remains in Jeremy's hands. Some have asked me where I stand with respect to the message. In my view, it is clear that William Branham had an amazing ministry. He had two remarkable gifts, the gift of healing and the gift of the word of knowledge or discernment. I know that many in the message believe that these are the signs of a prophet, but they are simply manifestations of the Holy Spirit as outlined in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 8 to 11. But it is also true that while Brother Branham thought he was an Old Testament prophet. He clearly was not. Our research has uncovered visions that failed, unbelievable exaggerations, and Brother Branham's self-promotion of himself as the fulfillment of multiple scriptures. Some of the details of our research are on the Believe the Sign website, information that many ministers in the message have known about for years, but have hidden from their congregations. More information will be published in the near future. Both Jeremy and I believe that we have a responsibility to let people know exactly what the truth is. We have been accused of shaking the faith of some weaker ones, but if their faith rests on, on William Branham or in some fast-talking message preacher, shouldn't it be shaken? We believe that you and I need to follow Jesus Christ and no one else. That is of the utmost importance. If you have any questions or think that we have some of our facts wrong, please email us. And thanks for watching.